It's the first ever actual day one stream we've ever done for a game. For real this time. Yeah. Shakara was giving us the runaround, but Chimera uh, squad, which, uh, honestly, I feel like some of these could be Chikara wrestlers. Anyway. In some universe. <laughs> uh, anyway, so this is, um, tone-wise and, I guess, function-wise, uh, very different from the main ones in that this is, uh, massively story-driven, which unfortunately comes at the expense of there's no creative character in this game. It's apparently a bit, like, streamlined and a Apparently a bit easier than XCOM 2 as well. Yeah, I feel like the, this sounds like more of an easier one to get into for like people interested in trying the series out. I've heard a lot of people like wondering if like if they actually decide to do an XCOM 3, if like they might base it off of this. That'd be pretty or cool. Just the gameplay improvements. That'd be pretty cool because there is some uh, functions to this that I like a lot. Uh, I've only played like, about like punching and kicking. <laughs> yeah, the the roundhouse kick. Uh, I feel like we're just gonna go with story difficulty for now, unless uh, we wanna we wanna try it. At... No, let, let's go with story. Yeah, that'll work. I think it'd be nice to actually complete an XCOM game on stream. <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna do a whole episodic. Is that how you pronounce that? Episodic. Episodic. Ep ep episodic. Okay. Uh, I don't know if we're going to do that for this, uh, but we'll see, because uh, I have no idea how long this is. Uh, we're going to go Iron Man, though. At least uh, give something here. Alright, right into the uh, intro sequence. Hey, Godmother, is this like the old days? XCOM swooping in and... I wouldn't know. So yeah, we have a whole, like, uh, stylized movie intro here. And for your many long years of service. Watch it. XCOM attached. They're already starting to fight. We've only met them for, like, 20 seconds. How is this not like the old days? I'm just happy to be here. I missed out during the war. And there's one of the aliens. For which which I, I actually couldn't tell if this was an alien in this art style. <laughs> like, I thought it was just, like, a dude. Through the checkpoint. I was never actually at them, but they were fitting me for a And then she said that, and I was like, oh yeah, must be an alien. We're here. 3 1 PD gave us the all clear. Grab your gear and prepare to move in. I'm guessing he's probably supposed to be like one of the like rebel aliens from 2. Yeah, he's not like a sectoid or anything, so he's probably a. Uh... Whisper, what's the status? And what's Verge's ETA? Comms are working, obviously. Verge is en route. How? Verge can't drive. He, uh, he hailed a cat. To a hostage situation? Focus. <laughs> I mean, you gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> okay, this is also very light, extremely light-hearted XCOM. Yeah. Yeah, this has more of, um... It's... It kind of reminds me of a less annoying version of the Marvel movies, if that makes any sense. Like yeah, the way. I can... and there's kind of the same smarminess, but it's not like overwhelming or anything. Uh, so I don't think it really matters if during this section what, uh, where we put these people. I feel like if I were to describe the tone this game has. It's like a fictional television series they'd put on after the end of XCOM 2. Yeah, this is like that obscure, like, uh, made-for-TV thing that, uh, <laughs> all you, like, the die-hard XCOM, uh, watchers would know about. Anyway, so yeah, this is, uh, I like this part. You can just burst in and then immediately shoot them. Or, uh, take cover, uh, later. Which, uh, we're gonna have to do at some point. So far yeah, so far so good. <laughs> he did! He's surprised. Hello. I am Mayor Nightingale. Alright, there's another, uh... Hostage? Welcome to City 31's Memorial Museum. 
it's just a recording. As I often say, yeah, idiot. the lessons from our past inform the present. Blah, 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 history. Focus. I hate history. I like shooting things. I was like, what the fuck is uh, fucking world building? I don't need it. <laughs> I feel like Terminal is just like, where's the creative character? Right, yeah, also... Yeah, it doesn't seem like the entire squad goes and then, uh... The aliens go after that. It seems like they kind of... actual, like, turn-based system, in a sense. Yeah, it's way more back and forth in this one, which actually makes it kind of a bit scarier. It feels, like, scarier, but also, like... More fair, in a sense, because you know what's coming next. Yeah, like this. Already not too good, but uh, if we just go over here, we we don't get any cover there, do we? Oh wait, yeah, we do. Okay, I'm moving. Uh, let me check something really quick, because I think literally nobody is here right now. Cherub's voice sounds familiar. I gotta look him up. Yeah. Yeah, zero viewers. Uh, let me go change that real quick. But yeah, he sounded familiar to me too. I like how she, like, her recording is going off in the background, we're just like, yeah, just shooting people. Interesting. Also, here's, here's the guy who had to hail a cab. Clear. I'm pretty cool. <laughs> what took you so long? Had to unpack a breaching truck. Good man. Not exactly. You know what I mean. I always do. So creepy. <laughs> Don't ever change. Verge, form up. Any hostiles? See, Godmother is the lady that doesn't do jokes. She's kind of like everybody's mom. See, so yeah, that's the setting we actually set, uh, which I also like. I think that's pretty cool. Yeah. Let this fit. So no, it's, uh... All right, so there doesn't seem to be any like voice actor listings that we can immediately find. Yeah, it's probably too new. Gonna uh, take give it a couple days. Yeah. On uh, Agent Damage lately. Yeah, let's just. Uh... Verge doesn't have much health to go off of, so. Uh... Are we able to just do this, or do we have to fill out all the slots? I'd actually, I'd actually almost say, like, maybe put Terminal up at the top one, and then, uh, Cherub at the bottom one, because Cherub's, like, the tank, if we're looking at things right. Because he's uh, got the shield and stuff. Oh, yeah, that's true. Uh, okay, let me get rid of that's these. Maybe uh... Godmother and Cherub at the bottom, and then Terminal and Verge at top. Okay, Godmother and... Damn it. Uh, Godmother and Cherub here. Yeah. Okay. Let's breach. Breaching. That's what I said. Okay, so <laughs> this is where it gets a bit trickier. Because I don't actually know where. Godmother really is right now because it's all a blurry mess. Probably best do this for now. And him on the other hand, I think we could, uh. Yeah. <laughs> Pick him off. Ah, well. Uh, try again? Or attempt to at least. <laughs> there we go. 
Oh. Jeez, everything's so fast in this one. Oh, okay. <laughs> he was just right there. I didn't even notice him. Okay, yeah, so basically that uh, function where you just, like, hit people over the head and uh, knock them out is uh, still there. Uh, I don't know if that will be really useful here. Uh, the terminal's in a bad spot. <laughs> Let's hide over here for now. And then get this guy. What do you mean Godmother? Godmother's on the bottom floor. Oh. Oh god. <laughs> it's good now even the enemies can just miss people up close. Even yeah. at Tark, this is still XCOM. <laughs> yeah. Ah, what the hell, I'll risk it. Yeah, that worked out better for me, it seems. <laughs> Get him. Ow. <laughs> Engaging target. Well, you did a bad job. Way to go. <laughs> have Godmother just run in and try to subdue that one. <laughs> Thing is, I don't know how to, like, change, uh... I think it's like... You oh, can't... wait, that's right. You have to go in the, the turn order, basically. Yeah. That's another, uh... Thing, which I'm not too sure if I'm fond of, but I'm sure there's a reason for it. Oh, uh, we could also uh, battle madness, but he has nobody else to attack, so. Uh... I'm noticing there's kind of a lack of like in-game uh, lines. What was that? It's like, yeah, I'm the best! Uh, Set up the breaching charge. Oh. I do like to make an entrance. I do like to make an entrance. Okay, so yeah. This one is like, well, only he can be in there. Well, he has to be at least in the first slot. Yeah. Okay, uh... Hmm. Okay, that's, that's, that's not a good order at all. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Wait, hold. Hostage confirmed in the next room. We need more than that. Free one PD has a live feed. Patching through. If you surrender, I will advocate leniency. Enough! This exhibit, it is about XCOM's role in this our guy. liberation. I see you read the placard. It doesn't say how they went soft and got weak. Went soft and got weak so like cereal and milk, like Brand Graham would say. Go, now! How's this for an entrance? Great work, he killed Verge. Oh boy, okay, uh... <laughs> just fire at all of them. It's just... <laughs> if it's 100%, might as well, I suppose. Uh, that's a bit more tricky. Do we risk it or go for the cover? Mm, this 71... Still nobody's here. This XCOM really isn't pulling people in. Sucks for them! Alright. <laughs> uh... Yeah, that... Well to... Sorry? I was almost having to say they might as well just take that shot too, because it seems to have worked out for the, for the first three. <laughs> I suppose hers is... This is a bit less likely. But with that, let's try it. Pull the dice. Alright, well. Not bad. You're a nightingale. I'll protect you. 
And I'll be really smug about it. I don't think you can actually move around the hostage. Whoa, okay. What? That might okay, actually- it's probably just tutorial. Yeah, cause uh... Yeah, that's the only way that makes any sense. <laughs> Somehow Chera being the one that just gets majorly hurt in the first mission makes a lot of sense to me. Nice. Well, we gotta we gotta fire then. Yeah. All right. Nice. <laughs> uh. All right. She has this ability, but uh, we can always just hit him over the head. Whack. Whack. <laughs> Fail to subdue. This will do it. <laughs> Yeah, well, uh... <laughs> great, great job, everyone. <laughs> oh, right, okay, so they actually just kind of actually tell you when, uh... When they're in Overwatch and... Yeah. Uh, how do I, like, fire? <laughs> Hey there. See ya. Chera, are you still with us? Yeah, uh, I think so. Only thing injured is my pride. And your diaphragm. And a few ribs. None of this should have happened. Most people say thank you. I'm, I'm grateful, of course. But these people don't have the capability for any of this. Explain. I read their threat assessment. A month ago, these insurgents were all talk and no capability. The greatest threat they posed was to bottles of alcohol. Why tell us? Why now? City 31 shows the world how humans, hybrids, and aliens can keep a lasting peace. I'm the public face of this. Tonight, someone wanted what I represent to go up in flames. We're not in town for local intrigue. I know. But right now, you're the only ones I'm certain of fighting for that same peace. Can I count on your support? Okay, sorry, I was yes, sir, it's from promoing again. <laughs> All right. The funny thing is, on uh, the easiest difficulty, I actually did worse than I did last time on normal difficulty. Huh. <laughs> Package delivered to three one PD. She truly believes what she says. Why she's in charge? Not too shabby for our first official mission. Don't do that. Don't do what? Celebrate before a mission is complete. It's <laughs> okay. Well, she's just dead now. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm glad we met that character before she just randomly blew up. Right, this guy. Chimera squad to our city. You hear that voice in your head? That's me telling you to wake up. Despite opposition, there is literally a sectoid conspiracist in this game, apparently. Sectoid Alex Jones. Pretty much. Welcome home, Chimera squad. The director wants to speak with us. Thanks for getting the mayor killed. Also, you're fired. That's not helpful. You're right. I'm sorry. I'll patch the call through when you're ready. I followed your actions. Anyway, after that tasteless joke, uh... <laughs> Director Kelly, I take full responsibility for what happened. Stop. I sent you to City... I mean, it was none of your fault. You were ready. Like... <laughs> Tonight, you surpassed my expectations. 3-1 PD requested help within three hours of your arrival in the city. Also, I assume you didn't put that bomb in the ambulance. <laughs> Under-equipped and down an agent. You adapted, as we trained you to do. And let's not forget, 
You rescued the mayor. You delivered her to safety as the city requested. I mean, for a couple you minutes. For an outcome you couldn't control. Instead, let's focus on what's next. I set up the map table. Ready when you are. Head over there. I'll hold. All right. Well, uh. So I guess, uh, yeah, the funny thing is the, keep oh, whoops, sorry, uh, <laughs> Welcome to it the seems like the whole terminal Fun. stuff During is, like, very the simplified now. The city was a fortress supporting an active star fort. Five years after XCOM won the war, it's home to aliens, hybrids, and in five years I might actually drink this cup of industry, coffee. Self-government, and local agriculture to support the uh, varied I I'm just waiting Against for it to cool. Odds, this city thrived after the war. There were no retributive attacks. Until tonight. We don't know that. Not yet. But we can find out. 3-1 PD requested our help sifting through evidence at the Memorial Museum. They lost... Oh, our brothers works. Today. Give them what they need and see what we can learn. I want to shoot a sectoid and then, like, have him examine it or something. Okay. Well, I I guess uh, we know what to do. <laughs> Let's go downtown. Your work with 31 PD opened a few doors. All right. Here's what we know. A crude plasma bomb killed the mayor. Like it really I sucked. No access to materials for that. Does that mean they had outside help? Most likely. There are three groups in City 31 with access to this kind of ordinance. Alright, well... One of them looks really cool, so I'm gonna have to go with that one. <laughs> but also, uh... Sacred Coil? I can't get that uh, thing off the... I'm gonna go with that one. Oh, the psychics too. Okay, that works for me. We have a small but loyal human membership, all with psionic capability. Victims willingly hand over what the progeny need and forget the whole thing. The perfect crime. Director, I mean, these are local criminals. Isn't that three one PD's jurisdiction? Yeah, but three one PD forgot. You see. Local police, but we're also required to recover dangerous material. From those who would do the world harm, and each of those groups is neck deep in the stuff. So what next? Focus on a single group. Investigate, dismantle their operations, and take them down. Meanwhile, we look for any links to the mayor's death. Either way, the dangerous organization is off the streets. Exactly. The city wants justice for Mayor Nightingale. This is how we help them achieve it. I, I, I just can't get over how fast that character blew up. It's we, amazing. <laughs> we weren't even technically done with the tutorial yet. <laughs> like, <laughs> okay, so I guess... Uh, Alright, well we did that. Uh, so when do we, like, fight? Oh, we got it. Headquarters sent us an assembly. With the right patterns, we can build anything. Or we could with the latest version. What you're looking at is the extremely finicky 2038 model. It'll take time to stress test our patterns. Uh -huh. But once we have them, we're good to go. We can build anything. I just had to make it sound as creepy as possible. Alright, so... Yeah, let's make some androids. <laughs> I will also say, too, uh, something I really like, the NPCs aren't constantly talking. Cause holy they talk when they need to. Yeah, because, my god, I still have flashbacks about Bradford from the second game. He just never shuts up. Oh, simoleons. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Alright. Oh, new agent? Uh, where, where are they at? Hey, cool, thanks. Uh, 
I wonder why that s sound didn't go off. But, uh, thanks a bunch. Uh, hold on a second. Yeah, it's just kind of doing that. Uh, was it the armory? Okay, there we go. The director convinced the city council to <laughs> staff. This means we can bring more agents to City 31. It's not the whole squad, not yet, but it's something. So, I recognize the middle one is the one that's able to do the roundhouse kick, but also the first one, the icon is selling me a lot. Hmm, you're... Hmm. The, the, other, the other character's just like a dude. I mean, this is the guy. Yeah. I don't know. We might have to flip a coin or something. At the same time, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna do it because I I can't decide now. Actually, uh, you know what? Let's let's uh get the roundhouse kick one because I I have to do that at least once. Sorry, Axiom. Yeah. Have everything you need? Yeah. Good talk. No. <laughs> alright, alright, I'm into her. <laughs> okay, so we, we can customize a little bit. There's a little bit. Yeah. What's her, uh, what's oh, her deal? From, she's from Australia. T oh, okay, because I, 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 I noticed her saying no was a bit, uh... No. <laughs> I think uh, we, we picked the right one. We picked an Australian alien lady that roundhouse kicks people. <laughs> Doesn't get much better than that. Okay. Oh, whoops. Um. Wait, so how do we make them not idle? Well, yeah, I'm trying to... I, I, uh... I kind of don't know what they mean by that. <laughs> I'm just gonna go for it anyway. Figure it out later. ...need leadership to function. If authorized by the director, you may need to neutralize a hostile leader. Oh wait, she's like the medic, so I can't really get rid of her. Uh, we got the tank. Let's swap him for the, uh... There we go. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't even have, like, a gun or anything. She just punches. I'm so excited for this. <laughs> I think we're gonna have to make Zephyr and Fire Pro now. Yeah. <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> hey, we do have custom heads now. Three one PD asked to speak with this company's owner about his connections to the progeny. That's when his staff pulled weapons, and the police barely made it out. Focus on the owner. Subdue if possible. Take him down if not. I feel like this actually might be a good mission to have. Uh to have Zephyr for, because apparently her thing is, like, she's super fast. Yeah. That works. And just gets in there and punches. <laughs> she's, she's not bad health, either, so I guess what we'll do here is, uh... Ready for anything. Uh... Hmm. Guess we could do Terminal there, because she has the amount of... Yeah. Best amount of health, and then, uh... Uh, let's... Put you here, maybe? Uh, have these two come in. Breach! Alright, 100% no brainer. Also 100%. He was like, oh, what was that? 
Ooh, okay. Let's see. Uh, huh? <laughs> I think that takes place. She's done her action. I'll start like once. Once you're out of breach mode. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there we yeah. Uh, that's as good as I even thought it was gonna be. <laughs> okay. Can't, once for mission. Hmm. Okay. Is that like one of the enemies there? What is that thing? I believe that's a civilian. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. I do like the idea of like now the aliens are just kind of like half good people now. Actually, I, I I couldn't really keep up. I think the aliens are good people now, and like this whole uh, this whole enemy squad is something different. Oh, we can, we can still go. Uh, Did you subdue him or just kick his head off? I, I think I might have kicked his head off. Uh, I did recommend, like, moving next to civilians because then you can, like, clear them out of there. Oh, yeah. Thing is, there's not, like, good cover for... Oh, wait, here we go. Fast as I can. Get a move on. Okay. Uh, not much you can really do so far. Maybe, uh... Alright, not bad. That was bad. <laughs> that was bad. Oh, God. That's just fine. Don't worry about it. I don't find out this is on other platforms, because... I think it might be. I feel like I could totally recommend this to Emmy at this rate. Yeah, I can see her being into this. Well, we gotta do it again. Splintering. You know the... <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah, right? Why, is, why isn't this... like super dead. <laughs> why isn't this lady in Tekken? They thought yet. the advent made me twice. Before the psionic network went down. Well, good thing we all thought advent. Except those of us who were advent. Terminal. <laughs> Technically, I was Terminal. never. Terminal. You know, why, why do these type of games just have to have the racist in it? Uh... Be thankful you're the medic, Terminal. Yeah. <laughs> she is kind of a jerk. Uh, first unit through the... What does that say? is marked until the end of the encounter. Uh, they're all kind of the same I think here. If you're gonna put have anybody be marked, like Cherub should be one of them. Yeah, he's used to again, he is the tech. Yeah, he's used to dying. <laughs> uh hmm. oh whoops. I, I guess you can kind of put either of these two wherever, right? Maybe, uh, have Zephyr kind of more on the defensive here. Let's say if you're going to send somebody through a security door, uh, have Zephyr go in first. Okay. Because if she goes in last, her weapon gets disabled, so she's kind of oh, useless. Th thing is, she uh, needs the key card, and Terminal's the only one that has that. Uh, hmm. Maybe put Godmother over there? Okay. Alright. This looks like, uh... Looks like where we're going with then. Okay! Stay behind me. I mean, to be fair, Zephyr's also got a fair bit of health, so... Yeah. For a speedster, she's pretty, uh... She has a lot more defense than I thought she would. I feel like it's the kind of thing, like, she has a bunch of health, she has a bunch of attack, but the problem is she has no guns. I mean, like, yeah. guns that shoot things. Yeah. 
She's got guns, all right. Uh, she's kind of surrounded by fire right now. Is the thing. Hmm. Think I should cover rush. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. All right. This lady, I mean, all right. He he's he's pretty dead, I'd say. Okay, what does this do again? Grenade with target. Wait, you don't have to ah, damn it! There yeah. are no plans for console versions of the title. Huh. I guess this was kind of more of a low priority game. Is that it? Oh no, it's a viper. It's a scared viper. Uh, hmm. Kind of don't want to don't know what to do here because they're up there. Where where are the other? Uh... Okay, so they're both. Uh, I guess I can go here then. Godmother's always taking the brunt. Uh, maybe... Hmm. Because there's other civilians here, too. I'd definitely say, like, getting the civs out should be the best... Should be, like, the best first idea. Yeah. Maybe this'll work. Out of my way. Actually, that might be a, that might actually be a pretty decent like positioning because now like Zephyr is basically right in front of the like Moving. doorway. Yeah, that should work. So I, so at least hopefully enemies will be more likely to attack her than actually well, yeah she's marked so like oh yeah enemies will be more likely to attack her than the Sibs. Yeah, uh, we got sixty nine so. Nice. <laughs> it always works so far. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Leave that guy alone. That guy's got some hops. Yeah. Oof. Ammo out. All he did was shoot a fireball at us. Alright, so I definitely say, like, position Godmother next to the sieve so you can get him out of there. Yeah. And then, and then go for a shoot. Alright. Uh, the thing is, I don't, like, really know if this will work. Yeah, I remember, because it worked diagonally with, uh, Zephyr. Ah, uh, okay. I think they just have to be in that, like, nine square. In, that three by three square. Uh, uh, preparation. Yeah, I'm kind of looking at this, like, I already like this way more than two, just because, like, <laughs> there definitely feels like a lot more tactical element to it. Yeah, instead of the game just flipping you off for the most part. I still like to a lot, but uh, it feels like they're definitely on to something here. Also, you could do this. <laughs> there are no... Yeah. Yeah. Let's go for that. <laughs> I made the arrest. <laughs> you sure did. Ow. Also, the enemies having dialogue is pretty interesting. Let's see. Enemies having dialogue and not just alien noises. <laughs> and it's like so much louder than everything else. Alright. Nice. What? Who? Who just slammed something? You're about to enter some offices. Now the owner must be holding. Oh, yeah, but the civilian's still there. I think they 
I think they just automatically leave at once you've completed the encounter. Yeah. All right. Agent damage likely. That's kind of what uh. That's what Cherub's made for. All right. So I'm in there. Uh, who has? Wait, what? I mean, yeah. does Cherub all have the explosives? Yeah, I, th I think he's the only one that has it. Damn. Uh, I could get Terminal in there. She has the ma most amount of health. We could always just send everybody to the wall, too. Yeah? I suppose we could. Uh, so what, uh, what order do you recommend here? Uh, I was getting well, there's no real, like, penalties to anybody going at last for this one, so I'd say just whatever order feels appropriate. Okay. Let's do this, and then this, and then uh, that. All right. Making a path. I do know that, like, the owner, they want, they really want you to, like, subdue him, if possible. Oh. <laughs> hey, Demo. <laughs> the first comment here so far was <laughs> getting an ad for the Jonas Brothers. <laughs> That'll be our next fire pro stable to Jonas Brothers. Hmm. 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 You run up and knock somebody out, or run up and, like, be right next to him. <laughs> uh. I don't know, you think we should eliminate this dude or go for the other guy? Let's let's take the dude out just to be safe. Okay. The less it. heads the better. Yeah. That we get to see her do that, uh oh right, we just do that too, I guess. I'd say have her go for some cover. Yeah. <laughs> you did mention like making sure you could uh <laughs> Because it did recommend sub subduing people. VIP is okay, I think. Try for capture. It's, it says you can either capture or kill them. Uh, thing is, I, I don't know who the suspect is yet. Maybe they haven't shown up. I'm guessing it's the person with the red. Who oh. is currently hunkering down. Oh right, right, right. Okay, yeah, it works like that then. Uh. Hmm. Maybe, uh... Could always do that. Hmm. Let's yeah, since we know that's not the guy we gotta capture. Yeah. Oh, didn't matter him, apparently. <laughs> okay, uh... Where's the, uh... We can't uh, see the one in the bottom most room. Yeah. Can't, uh... Can't actually get to him yet. Or her? I can't tell from here. It's not that one. Oh. Wait, It's wait. the one that has, like, the red... The red, uh... The red markings over them, I think. Hmm. I'm not sure I'm... Uh, we'll take this one step at a time, I guess. Because uh, I'm only seeing one person hunkering down over there. It's the one in the rightmost room, I believe, is the owner. This guy? Yeah. Oh, the Acolyte, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now I get it. Because they look like they're unarmed. Yeah, that's always a bit suspicious. Alright, uh... The thing is, I'm not really sure what to do here now. 
Can you still do Overwatch? Because I was gonna say maybe put someone on Overwatch for that door. Yeah. Yeah, we can do that. Knocking down hostiles. Oop, I... Clear me a path. Oh, she's uh. Damn it. <laughs> well, uh, we just <laughs> beat this person up. Yeah, that works. Let's do it. Fracturing. It's has the RPG seem uh fairly interesting. It's just accountant was killed. <laughs> oh, that was the suspect. Oh, is yeah. he knocked out? Now we killed him, or oh. them. I mean, the game says do either or, so <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Yeah, I had a, I had a feeling. I can do that. <laughs> well, cool. <laughs> what? It's, I just noticed that uh, poster over there. That guy looks very upset to have uh, his picture there. It almost looks like half like a real person, but like they just <laughs> a real person pasted onto a caricature. Yeah, how can you kill suspect? He's OP. <laughs> That's a good point. Uh, he'd be the easiest character to make in XCOM uh, too, as well, because you don't have to give him a voice pack. You just have him say nothing. Uh, she's got no good shots here. And so far, Overwatch has not worked. <laughs> Preparation. So I'm not really sure what to do with her right now. We should probably move Cherub a bit away, because he, he's like right next to her, and... With XCOM, that usually means bad things. But, thing is, I don't... I don't think anybody's really in a good spot here, so I'm just gonna... Do this for now. See what they do. Azure fades into silver. Oh, you better not. Oh, you've done it now. You've done it now. They've gone and made a big mistake. <laughs> Is this Mario and Rabbids on Switch? <laughs> Basically. I still want to... I should probably get that. Because, uh... That game had the weirdest progression of uh, reception because I heard people were just like, oh, this sounds awful. And then uh, when they learned it was more like XCOM and they started playing it, they're like, this game actually rules. <laughs> and you know what? That game really does sound cool. I like how uh, how much of a different turn they took that type of game. For a better tomorrow, your tether unbroken. Tethers? Like an up? I mean, uh, not Up, Us. But up is a very different movie. <laughs> okay, well, she's possessed now, so we really gotta... They're not, re they're not possessed, they're getting, like... They're about to get slammed. Oh. So she... recommends knocking out the agent that just, like, lifted them up? Yeah, that would be pretty good, huh? We, we, we did that through the window somehow? Whack. How uh, can we not actually do that on him? Or... Yeah, it's grayed out for him. I guess we'll just have to, uh... Get whoever we can in here. Thought I had it. Well, you, you, you hit him. All right, let's do it. <laughs> That's so good. I hope somebody mods like a fighting smashing extremities. Stri smashing extremely or something. I don't know. I have to. Like she was saying smashing extremities. <laughs> that would make more sense. Oh my god, Godmother. Oh, right, yeah, that, that, that's a good spot. She's having a time. Yeah.
I don't know what it is about this shot that cracks me up. She's just in the middle going like, why doesn't everybody leave me alone? I'm just gonna put up with this shit. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> His head got stuck in the wall. Alright, well. Assuming he has a head. <laughs> That's a good point. Alright. Cool. Well, we subdued a guy earlier, I think. <laughs> Not For... the guy, but a guy, at least. <laughs> we should, we could do it, we just didn't. Oh god, Bradford. No! <laughs> don't, don't have his name pop up on the screen. Progeny went after expensive assets. What's behind their sudden need for funding? They have no love for hybrids, which presumes a motive to kill the mayor. As for means? Psionics could give them the ultimate insider. A I thought that was one of the chosen. Protective detail. Okay. Uh, what do we do here? Agents. An emergency session of the city council voted five to four against a citywide curfew. Councillor Parada spoke for the majority. There is no need for such extreme measures. Mayor Nightingale's death is a tragedy. But to shut down the city due to fear would reject the very principles by which she lived. 3-1 PD remains on high alert throughout City 31. Commissioner Maloof released the following statement. Every 3-1 PD officer grieves for Mayor Nightingale. I'm actually like, interested in what they're saying now. <laughs> this is weird. More as the story develops. This is Celio Dash with Channel 37. Well, they voted against the curfew because they want to go hit up the bars, obviously. Spec Ops Gotta Online. Get that tourist money. <laughs> Spec Ops Online was that game about war being bad. I, I think kind of. I can't tell if XCOM is kind of that as well. Because, like, XCOM 2, the whole canonical thing was. Uh, a lot of people died in the first game to the point where I think we lost. Yeah, that's so, the canon. Yeah, so... I'm authorizing Chimera Squad for special operations. Some ops provide useful resources for the squad. Keep an eye out for these opportunities. Glad handing. Okay. Convince well-to-do individuals and business groups to blah 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 blah. Uh, Verge, you're not doing anything. <laughs> but again, we probably should have him doing something. Um... I don't know, Cherub seems like he'd be, uh, the most, uh, easy to get along with. Because this lady's a jerk, she's too serious, and this one would just kick you in the face, so, uh... Alright. Okay, now we're getting the, uh... Now we're getting the, uh, of hybrids have recently the choices. Throughout yeah. The Probably just gonna go for purple. Find out if they're behind this, and if so, how they're doing it. Hmm. Five days? Well, we could... There you go. Oh, we can't actually do that, I guess. Maybe you need more, uh... More, like, investigation points, basically? Basically, we gotta wait five days for it to unlock. Uh... Kinda like the game itself. When hostile forces feel overwhelmed, they may attempt to cut their losses in a spectacular fashion. But they might destroy evidence or activate a bomb as you approach, whatever the case. <laughs> like how yeah, he's just like, uh, they may have like a bomb or like guns or I don't know, whatever. Do something. I don't have all day. The progeny are holding people in this facility. 
Get them out safe I keep thinking down. he's saying the prodigy, like uh, that ECW dude. Oof. Well, these guys certainly are fire starters. <laughs> uh. Hmm. Well, this is like. I'd say send oh. Verge. <laughs> send Verge to the side window because he gets the extra dodge. Yeah, he's not got much going on. Hmm. Who should get the crits? Like the guaranteed crits. Uh I'd almost say Zephyr because like she can get right up next to them that's and probably true. subdue them. Wait, does she have a subdue? Uh I I don't know, <laughs> actually. Or just put her in there anyway, see what happens. Yeah. yeah. And I guess just put the other two right here. Actually, let's uh, swap that around. Okay. Go, go, go. Is it just me or does Zephyr kind of like decide when she wants to actually have an accent or not? Because I feel like she's slipping in and out of it. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. It's trickier than I thought. And that's why I said there would be like guarantee, like a high chance of getting damaged. Yeah. Uh, should we just go for like the tankier dudes first? Yeah, I'd say. All right. Problem is, I don't know which one to. Oh, this guy's Probably behind. Probably farther away, because then it'll just get you right past all those other people that might shoot her. So, go for that, then? Yeah. Alright. 99% chance to hit, miss. You know, that that happened to me exactly once. And I'd say, like, have Verge take care of one of the guys that's closer. Yeah. Because, like I said, he's also got the dodge. That's true. Uh, does he That's kill the guaranteed kills? Okay, yeah. <laughs> he's he's st stuck on the wall there. What? Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. How are you doing? Hey, how's? <laughs> My day is ruined. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, cover rush. Oh. Ow. She's gonna she's gonna kick you. I feel like every game we're checking out now just has like the star Explosion character, you know. Stop them from blowing it up. Huh? Right, so I'm guessing the person that down there that's marked. Wait, what has like the self destruct? Wait, what? Does they see like a marked person there? Uh, uh who are you right now? You're Zephyr. Why not see if you can subdue the one dude that you're right next to? Like, uh... Wait, where am I? Oh. Zephyr's right there. Okay, yeah, yeah. Hey, Yosh, uh, we're about an hour in, so we have another hour. So they definitely say subdue that guy so you can get some more intel. Yeah. And <laughs> let's not kill him this time. <laughs> Uh, we can't create any Pikachu in this one. This is all entirely story-driven, so there's no creative character. But, uh... The characters are pretty great so far. <laughs> I said we have, like, this... Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh... You got... You're fighting Psionic, so you could... So, like, Verge is actually probably pretty useful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I gotta figure out we just have a Psychic on our team. Uh... See, so, yeah, if you want to see, maybe send one of the, like, targeted people into Battle Madness. That might help. Okay. Uh, was he one of the targeted ones? I think it's one of the yellow people are, like, specifically the targeted ones. Okay. Enemies all around. I'm so mad! Splendor drops and breaks. Uh, who? Uh, oh, okay, that was... 
That was the lady getting shot that said that. <laughs> and we could just kill him. But, uh. <laughs> Maybe we should. Yeah, let's kill the extra one that's down there. What, the, this lady? The one that's not berserk. Okay. The one that just got shot. <laughs> she was just kind of chilling. The problem is, she is taking, uh. Oh, okay. Never mind. Oof, uh, somebody just activated self-destruct. I, I think. What is that saying underneath it? Uh, maybe that's a turn-based thing, so like... If you don't kill them quick, they're gonna like activate the self-destruct. Hmm. Moving, cover me! So you the targeted dudes? Or, oh, yeah, maybe. you're the one that's already in the self-destruct. Okay. In the self-destruct uh, zone. Uh. All right. The one that's on, on top of the. Yeah, the the human. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think the other shots are necessary. Who? <laughs> they might be talking about the berserk person. That's true. Seems like it'd be overly stupid hard to prevent them for ever setting foot on those squares. Uh... So far it's going okay. This is actually a much easier XCOM so far. Then again we do have it on easy mode, so... But I've played XCOM 2 on easy as well and it's a lot of... Guess we could just uh, kill this dude, right? Or subdue them. Like we said, that helps with the, the intel stuff. That's true. Thing is that, uh... He won't actually get knocked out right now. Yeah, it doesn't work for either of them. Maybe we can kill this guy yeah, at least? Yeah, maybe... Go, yeah, go kill that guy and then have, uh... Virgin Terminal d double team the, uh, Double team subdue the other one. Okay. Yeah, that's another that's another possibility too. The difficulty sprite could have uh, been changed here. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, well, well, she can just move again. Oh yeah, yeah. Just move her over. Uh, she's already move been her over somewhere. Yeah, she's already been shot twice. I'm trying to like get her to not get shot. I think maybe behind the wall, behind the wall, of the doorway, if you can. Like here? If it, yeah. Okay. That's full cover, so. Alright. Out of my way. Out of my way, nobody. Oh god. Okay. So yeah, you got like four turns. You could easily send some people in there to try and subdue them. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's go here. Alright, uh, I still can't subdue them for some reason. Hmm. Uh, just, uh. Maybe just reload. Oh, yeah, yeah, that could work too. Weapon ready. Okay, you subdue. Terminal, punch. <laughs> Yeah, you should have. Stop being so defeatist. Godmother, punch. <laughs> <laughs> Does he, like, back away when that happened? Uh. Alright. So far, so good. I'm so glad we decided on Zephyr, I can't stress that enough. Okay. When you weren't on mission, you need to maintain your skills, physical and mental. Training is the place to do it. It's also where you can adapt to any uh. lasting wounds received in the field. So don't let those wounds linger. 
You'll pay for them in the long term. They'll eat you. Uh. Nobody's really injured, are they? <laughs> like, it said she was lightly wounded, but it doesn't, like, say anything? Yeah, she was just, like, lightly wounded. Hmm. I think we might, uh, be okay for now. Alright, modular weapons, of course. I guess we just end the day and have this unlock. Hmm, then again. Uh... Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. What, end the day? Or take it? I mean... I suppose just take it and you'd still end the day. That's true. Might as well do something, right? <laughs> oh, right. That's one of the it just kind of happens thing. Turning them into psionic thralls. The process is irreversible. Stop the abductions so we can ensure the city's hybrids return to their lives. Stop the madness. I'm pretty sure this was like the plot of Revolution X. Spontaneous vigils Ooh. broke out in honor of Mayor Hold Nightingale, on. whose recent death still royal City 31. Thousands of citizens wish to pay their respects to our city's first freely elected mayor, said one attendee. He got it, you know? It wasn't <laughs> about making things better for me and mine. Hybrid, alien, human, she did her best for all of us. The city council she got it, you know? elections within the month, Councillor Parada released the following statement. Mayor Nightingale once said, Governance Oh, it's Deputy Topknot. But it requires the people's consent. This is Celio Dash with Channel 37. Hey, we got a new Android. <laughs> we got a robot friend. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna make you, uh... None of these colors really pop out. And we got a lot of promotions now. Uh, which, uh, where, where did it go? <laughs> oh, there we go. I'm sure you already know your way around the armory. Uh, each of you has a locker here. But Ooh. it's also where we announce field promotions, which I'm doing now. Another bit of ribbon. Congratulations. I realize now there should have been a cake. <laughs> yeah. Where the hell's the cake at, Whisper? Okay. What? What? Why is she all upset? Oh. Refresh. She just offers him a coke. Was that it? Or oh wait, yeah. Oh, <laughs> we got parries Ooh. now. <laughs> the extra action for momentum can be spent to prevent damage from the next attack instead of moving. <laughs> That's really good, actually. Uh, this is my character. <laughs> then you're just here. And you're just a robot. <laughs> We're gonna have to take the wait cadet shield. This will be right back. Alright. Ooh, fire and poison damage. Alright. Uh what do we got Our here? Temporary field office has all the basics. Weapons, comms, and ammunition. Supply is where we request everything else. As long as it's in the squad's Ooh. budget, it's ours. I'm gonna go with that. The bullets that hurt more. Well, so far, we don't have like the blow up -y grenade, but uh.
how much do these cost? Yeah, we can afford it. Okay. Uh, Oh, we got all these uh, folk here. That is true. What's a uh... yeah ceasefire grenade? It's like the noob side bot grenade, basically. Uh, I'm tempted to give it to uh, to Godmother because uh, she gets shot an awful lot. <laughs> also, she doesn't really seem to have anything that. Uh, that like uh, distinct in terms of abilities anyway so uh, now who has okay so Verge has the uh, least amount of uh, alright we gotta look at everybody's aim real quick 78 okay 78 82 78, 75, 75, okay, uh, this will just, uh, give that to this fella, and let's go! Yeah, so, basically what I can say about this game is that it's really cool. Uh, they introduce a lot of new stuff to it. I'll probably end up going back to XCOM 2, but there are a lot of improvements here. A robust number of guards. He'll answer for his crimes. I'll make sure of it. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna wait for Sasha to get here, because, uh... We're here. Alright. <laughs> okay, so we brought, uh, we gave the cyborg, uh, the bullets that shoot things better because I bought some supplies uh, Verge now has a medikit and uh, Godmother has a grenade that uh, makes all the enemy guns stop working so <laughs> um, alright so hmm. so I definitely say we send uh, Zephyr through the main door yeah. cause they get plus one armor Okay. Verge, I think, should still definitely get the repel point with the 30 dodge. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, should... 25 defense. Uh... 25 defense, but, like, very high danger. There's also very high danger there. That's true. Uh... Maybe Godmother, because I did give her that uh, grenade that makes her gun stop working. Yeah, you know what? That works. Yeah. Uh, terminal, you can just... Uh, I don't you can know. just be here. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know where my cyborg went. Did you put him in the APC? Yeah. They were, uh, they were with us and everything. Or, uh, maybe they're an item. You can call or something. Oh, right, right, yeah. They did say that. Alright. So, one guy there. One oh, all a... the way over there. And one there. Hmm. That puts it right in the middle, so that's not good. Maybe that he guy? He have the extra armor, though, so... Oh, yeah, yeah. Hmm. That one is yellow. That means he's alert, but he's not, like, aggressive. Yeah. Aggressive, aggressive, uh... I think the aggressive ones are more likely to just shoot you. Hmm. Should we go for the alert guy, then? Hmm. Yeah, Luckily, the... you also have Godmother and, uh... Godmother and Virgil are on that side. Hmm. Yeah, let's go, I think let's, let's go for the alert guy. Okay. And then we'll have Terminal take care of the aggressive guy. Gotcha. Also, Cole, uh, which one's Sprocket again from uh, Animal Crossing? Sounds familiar, but uh, 
job. Terminal. Uh, Terminal, you suck. So yeah, let's have Verge take out the aggressive guy to the left. Okay. Or try to. <laughs> There's an alien over there! Alpha strike. Yeah, let's, I guess let's go with Alpha Strike. Yeah. Also, the robot bird. That sounds like something I'd uh, be really into. Oh! Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> 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 okay. okay. So, Zephyr's up first. And she's kind of surrounded right now. Which one is next in the timeline is closest to her? Uh, terminal. I mean, the enemy aliens. Oh, oh. Uh, that guy? Okay, so yeah, I'd say maybe just knock out... I'd say maybe just subdue the guy she's standing right next to. Okay. Hostile subdued. <laughs> just kicked him in the head. Whoa. I think that might be a civilian. Oh, great. Godmother's getting lifted again. This is with Godmother and... Uh, terminal's over there. Yeah, she's... kind of just looking at him. Mm. Or her? I guess maybe just knock out the one that... Hmm. This is tricky. I also think the alternative option is, like... It'd make you open, but you could, but you could also knock out like the person who's about to slam Godmother. Uh, uh I mean, that guy? shoot them, not like knock them, out, knock them out, but like. Uh, problem is uh forty-two percent. Uh, well, that's what I was saying. Like it'd be risky, but maybe move her to like more open to a more open area and then go for a shoot. Oh, oh, I see, I see. Okay. Um, I don't think there's any place I can put her where she has any covers. The problem. Uh, maybe this will be good. That see. might work. Still forty-four. Hmm. Hmm. Should we just like get this guy? <laughs> I suppose. Eh, not much I can really do here. Ah, oh, well. Terminal's not very good at this aiming thing, apparently. Well, to be fair, she has a machine gun. Mm. Alright, uh, have Verge go for the guy that's in the room that's about to slam Godmother. To do him, or? Uh, the one. No, I say just shoot him. Yeah, at this point. 40, still 47. There's like no good shot on this guy. We could stun him. Would that work? I hope so. Let's see. <laughs> okay, yeah. That should work. It yeah. did work. Cool. Alright, now. Bird, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Get this wacky guy out of here. Oh my god! <laughs> Whoa! It just what, did, what, what was that? I'm not sure. <laughs> he just exploded for some reason. Actually, that's good. Uh, you could probably... At, like, next opportunity, you could probably send someone over to subdue that guy. Yeah. I should uh, probably try to subdue that one too. Yeah, he's uh, pretty low in health, so. Subdued hostile. <laughs> she's not so bored doing it. Like it's routine that she just kicks people in the face all day, which she probably does. Uh, let's see. You've yeah, got a lot of turns to get over there, so. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, 
the hostile. All right. Now you're approaching an atrium. The blueprints show a lot of bad angles. On a scale of none to all, how many medikits will I go through? Let's aim for none. But you do have one. Only Godmother has one it, so. and the Gremlin. Yeah. I don't. I don't know what she's worried about. Uh. Hmm. So let's not send Zephyr as the first one through the main door because because she can't really Overwatch. Yeah. Uh, who is the Verge has the least amount of aim, I think. Yeah, I'd say maybe Virgin Terminal through Main Door 1. And then, uh, could use that extra aim, and then Godmother... Godmother first through Main Door 2... ...and Zephyr. Alright. We shall move in. Reaching! I will say this cast is growing on me, but... I have to say... I'm kind of bummed that... ...bummed that Godmother just doesn't really have any personality so far. Her personality is being is being the straight one to the yeah. to the rest of the group's goofiness. Yeah, I suppose there's that. Uh so yeah, Taylor just get that guy out of the way. Yeah, alright. <laughs> Same thing yeah, with this guy. Go get the other one. Oh, he's not even dead. Oh, that's a new guy, I think. Let's say, uh... Gee, he's kind of surrounded Ooh. right now. <laughs> you see this? <laughs> it's the craziest... Say, take the people out, the person out with the least health right now, because, you know, less heads, the better. Yeah. Alright, Thrall. He just looks... Maybe have her fearless advance toward the dude, the dude back there. Yeah, the resonant. Hopefully this doesn't end badly. Uh, I thought the game froze for a second. Oh, critical, nice. Yeah, that's what we were thinking. It's like, yeah, she'll she'll crit him and do a bunch of damage. <laughs> Hey, right, she's like. Bridges up first. She's like right next to the thing too. All right. Uh, we just get this dude out. Yeah. All right. Could also do uh, battle madness on him, but. Hmm. Hmm. I think to be safe, maybe we should put him in a stupor. Yeah. Okay. Get him in a stupor and see if he can shoot the other guy. Unless this turns over. I still got it. Uh, which one, though? I was going to say shoot the guy to the left. And that see if, uh, hopefully... Oh, Zephyr's farther down the line, though. Yeah. I want to sub because I'm feeling like we want to subdue the re resonance. They seem like the big boss. Yeah. Uh, he can't really subdue them right now, so I'm just gonna. Oh right, there's an. Oh right. Well, he's next in line, so he can't do much. Yeah. So I was gonna say maybe knock the that acolyte out. Yeah. Okay. Get him out of the turn order. All right. Silence is your albatross. Damn it. <laughs> That'll be easy. You're to... supposed to be stunned, asshole. It's at one turn that time, so. Uh, did we just shoot him, or. Yeah. Ah, she's still about to get dropped. Terminal's still over there, so you could probably have. Because Terminal's next turn, so. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, did we get this guy then? Or... Uh... 
Yeah, get the get the guy get the guy to the south. If you can. With the acolyte? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> he has no idea where he is. Somehow that hitch, he was just like facing the complete opposite way, but they're running. They're running, but Zephyr's faster. Yeah. Says so, subdue so him. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Did the civilian just like have a reaction to that? In the next room, the recruiter may have an exit. Oh, we didn't pick up the thing. We will bring him in. <laughs> okay. The best for last. First unit through this entrance is marked to the end of the encounter. Hmm. So I'd say maybe Zephyr should go first. I think she has the most defense and health All out right. of everybody. Uh, Who yeah. should be the, the one to like land their shot? Uh, either Godmother or Terminal, because they have the better... Oh, wait, no, no, aim doesn't matter here, <laughs> so, uh, hmm. I'd say probably Godmother, because I, I think she has the shotgun. Yeah, that's a good point. Alright, let's, uh, let's do that, then. Time to move. All right. So we have three immediate people, one at a site. Yeah. That guy's surprised. So is that guy. Hmm. Yeah, I'd say just send her to the farther one way. All right. No harm in that. <laughs> and uh, just have everybody else work on the other two dudes. Alright. That worked. <laughs> I mean, still there. Uh, do we just keep hitting him? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Did he just, like, fall out of the window? And... And have Godmother get the one to the right. Yep. There we go. Okay. Oh, there he is. Our VIP, so do if you can. I know what we're doing. Let's actually subdue him this time. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> Wait, did she just? Is, she, is he already subdued? Yeah. Discord kind of froze up for a second. Yeah, he, he literally just roundhouse kicked him onto the bed. <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, I accidentally clicked. Damn it. Oh, well. That's fine. Yeah, it's no big deal. Ow. Okay. Let's not mess this up this time. Uh, could do battle ban this. Since there's... Another enemy right next to him, and actually two. There should go for it. Yeah. All right. Go on. Lash out. <laughs> Be yourself. Have fun with it. Get mad. Get so mad it drives you mad. <laughs> Wait, he's, uh, he's already, uh... Who can we subdue here? Oh, we can subdue him. Yeah, I'd probably just subdue that guy. Yeah. <laughs> There's just something about the whacking part that just gets me every time. Not right, that guy. Uh, I'm actually kind of glad we got rid of the... We, like, knocked out the VIP before sending that guy into Berserk. Oh yeah, that would have been a bad idea, wouldn't it? 
it. <laughs> yeah. Can we can we can we bash him through the wall? Uh, we did last time, so. Uh... Fuck it, let's do it. Hostile subdued. <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> okay, can we pick him up? Wait. I think like once they're subdued, that's just like that's it. Okay, cool. You got. You don't have to pick anybody up. All right. Uh, they are considered captured. <laughs> let's just kill this guy then. <laughs> oh, he's stunned. Yeah, it's like it's, just go for a parry if you can. <laughs> it's not gonna really be doing much, but uh. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Shields like and I helped. Uh, this game's cool. It's <laughs> like I have about 20 minutes, so. Unrest in Angler's Point. The Progeny's hybrid abduction program is no more. The damage they've done is substantial. All right. The city council has approved Reclamation's use of field teams. This will keep a lid on unrest. But Speaking of lids, are you ever going to drink that cup of coffee? More. He's going to stand there with it. Oh, we can recruit somebody now. Hey. Right. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. Uh, this game's really cool. Okay, uh, new recruit. We got it. We got a suit. Well, <laughs> well. I mean, look, you're here. There's a snake. Yeah. So. Let's do it. And apparently, according to uh, one of my mutuals, uh, she's apparently sassy. So. <laughs> Torque. Whisper. Are we good? I don't know. Did you get a lobotomy? Oh damn! <laughs> no, we aren't good. Well, at least things are back to normal. Fuck you, Whisper. <laughs> there we go. We could probably just have her replace Godmother in the team, maybe. Yeah, because Godmother isn't really that distinct. <laughs> Yeah, I never actually played those games, and I'm starting to think, uh, since they're being compared to this, I probably should. I oh, can definitely see the Swap 4 comparisons, just minus, like, it being a first-person shooter and, like, terrible AI. <laughs> Verge lifts an oh. enemy into the air. Oh, okay. So he's got that move that they were doing to Godmother all the time. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, uh... Any other promotions, or is it just Verge? Uh, it's just Verge. Alright. We got that. Sure, we got a hundred bucks. <laughs> I, 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 I guarantee that he's just in that locker room waving those simoleons around. He's just like, yes, he just got a hundred bucks. Okay, apparently Chimera, they, the developers have confirmed Chimera Squad will have extensive support for mods. Cool. So uh, hopefully somebody will find a way to mod in character creation. I'm open, so... Okay, we already got that. Uh... Also, Door Kickers. I feel like I've heard about that in game. Door Kicker sounds like, uh... Come on. That sounds like an arcade beat em up. I'm thinking of, uh, hold on. Ooh, okay. Make a team of all vipers. Ah, uh, man, if only I could. Uh, auto loader, the first reload, and some missed shots. Hmm. Huh, it's a real time strategy game. <laughs> hmm. Auto key card? Huh, okay. I can't believe we could just make a card that works. <laughs> uh, oh, we can sub we can subdue them with bullets now. 
Ooh. I think we gotta get some of that. Uh, we don't really have armor yet, but uh, let's give Viper a cease fire grenade. <laughs> 2D uh, swap for. Interesting. <laughs> okay. Um, we could contact the market. Uh, bust a smuggler, or just reveal a crime scene. I'm thinking maybe we should contact the market. Cause that, yeah. that would give us stuff. We oh. have to build a field team first. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay, uh... Sure. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Uh, how do we go back? Can we go back? <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, there we go. So we can either get stuff or get info. I feel like getting info is more important. Yeah, because that'll get the uh, that'll get the investigation. Yeah. I have more background on the insurgents behind the mayor's attack. Just after the war, City 31 reached out to nearby resistance networks to help keep the peace. The insurgents belong to a cell in the Shrek Network. I had to check it out then. That network provided security before 31 PD existed. They left when the Global Council cleared aliens and hybrids for return to society. <laughs> I like the whole. They fought in the war. Seems that way. Since 2037, they've kept to the outskirts and swapped war stories at their watering holes. Sounds like a dead end. Maybe. Something drove them to carry out this attack. Keep your eyes open. Will do. Okay. Reports confirm significant unrest in City 31. Without the city's trust, Reclamation cannot investigate effectively. Anything we can do about that? Tell them to go to sleep. can earn back the public trust. We're here to keep the city safe, so there's no better way than doing just that. Okay. So let's, uh... Here you go. Gonna mess around with the uh, loadout people too. The progeny uses psionic oh. relays to coordinate their forces, but that's impossible without serious automation. They must rely on modified advent tech to pull this off. Locate and confiscate it to disrupt their operations. Is that what you're saying? Like the. Th we gotta put uh, we gotta put the snake in our team. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, Torque. That's a Key and Peel character, Torque. Uh, construction Noise Lewis. Okay, so. Can we put a field team in the Heights? Mm, uh, we can. Uh. Guess that doesn't really matter, uh. Like, what we put down there? I I'd mean, say like let's it's... put down a security team. Yeah. Intel seems like the best thing right now. Uh, do we do the same thing for the stacks? So where is City 31? I don't know. And they haven't really said. Hmm. Let me, let me check to see, uh... Unrest in Renova Heights. Okay, so where is Renova Heights again? Oh, well we can't we can't do anything. <laughs> Alright, uh did we just Don't know which one we should get here. Did we do this one? Because we already got a security thing, but maybe we should get this since we don't have one? 
I don't know. I'm I'm confused. Uh, let's let's go with this one, I guess. Or maybe. Uh. I'd say since they already have like a security thing, maybe we should just go in and fix this ourselves. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Yeah. I'm Commissioner Maloof of 31 PD. To be blunt, I don't give a chrysalis ass about the politics. I'm glad you're in the city. 31 PD was stretched thin before the mayor's death. There are gaps to fill, and that's where you come in. When your agents can handle a situation that was uh, one of the giant spiders in XCOM 2. That's the way. ash she was talking about. Council has a problem with that. I'll take the heat. They can't afford to fire me. I look forward to working with you. <laughs> so she's the... I can do whatever I want, because nothing can happen to me character. Bad news, I just got fired. <laughs> so usually how it goes. Destroy the device in question when authorized. Keep your distance if you can. All right. Uh. She hasn't. I don't think I gave her anything. So. And Zephyr. Well, I guess she doesn't really need anything. Actually, maybe I should give her the ceasefire grenade, since she doesn't have weapons. Yeah, that's fair. Give give Zephyr, like, a little bit of... Oh, you're giving it to Torque, sorry. I was almost going to say, like, see if you can give Zephyr the grenade. That's what I was saying, yeah. Because uh, I gave it to Torque first, but uh, Zephyr probably needs it more. All right. Let's, uh, get to it. This will be the last mission for the night, probably. Meow. <laughs> but yeah, regarding XCOM 2, uh, we do have plans for that. Uh, I actually, I actually just got, like, the rest of the DLC for cheap. So I'm not sure whether I'm going to start a new campaign or just continue the one we left off on. I think maybe for the ideas we had, maybe, like, doing the... Just starting over might not be a bad idea. Yeah. Alright. So do we have somebody with explosives that can blow up the door? The answer is no. So everybody's going to the main door then. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Uh, just the tankiest one first and then the rest. Uh... So yeah, Zephyr first then. Oh. Right. If she's kind of proven to be like the tankiest. That's true. And then terminal and tor terminal and ver torque and then verge. Oh, whoops. Hey, I noted. Uh, yeah, I think for the two campaign that I'm trying to do, I think we're gonna do an experiment where I'm not doing on stream because that uh, doesn't really work on a weekly basis because there's too many gaps and it kind of takes too long. So we might we might do something different for that. We're still discussing it. Uh, okay. Go, go, go. We, I'm definitely going to make a ton of new characters for that, though. Like, probably tonight, honestly. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm, I might just put the entire roster of MK2 in there. I don't know. <laughs> or MK2. As best you can. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to have to try and make a, a Jesta sound pack to go with it. <laughs> There's not that many lines for it. I might just make a general MK2 voice pack where it just kind of has everybody in there. So I'm gonna say maybe, uh, just go send her after one of the farther away people. The bruiser. Yeah. That might just be getting a punch off. Yeah. Also, I just noticed her uh, revving up that attack is just her doing a taunt at them, as if I needed more reasons to love this character. <laughs> Let's look at that's closer 67%. I think he's crouching and the other guy isn't. So let's just go get rid of that guy. Yeah, the surprised acolyte. Oh, wow. 
And we subdued him. Okay. Uh, just shoot at this guy then, or? Yeah, shoot the guy to the right. Hmm. Alright, let's try it. Yeah, we got him. Okay. And I'd say... Well, actually, can he levitate somebody? He can. Levitate the aggressive one. Okay. Wait, wait. No, not that guy. That guy. I like the music that just started playing when that happened. That's the target. Bust it up. Bust you up. All right, where's it? Where, All right, where, so Zephyr's over there. Wait, wh what's the target he just said? Destroyed the pylon. The big pylon in the middle, yeah. Oh, this thing? Yeah. Okay. The big tower in the middle. Okay. Yeah, that thing. Okay. Uh, so what do we have her do? Uh, I'd say maybe just knock out the extremities of the bruiser. <laughs> uh, we can't though. Anyone? What about like the super move that she has? This. Oh, we can just kill him. <laughs> yeah, why not? Yeah. Fracturing. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> And then use the momentum to uh, parry. Yeah. Since she's kind of surrounded. She desires. Psionic suplex. <laughs> Not one of the most impressive finishers I've ever seen. Uh, she ended up still getting hit by that, so I guess it doesn't apply to psionic attacks. Uh, get her more up front then, or. Yeah. See if we see if we can eventually get like uh, Torque or Verge to do something about the dude in the back. Dude in the back. Oh, that guy. Yeah. All right. Eventually. Also, I'd say get the sieve out of there. The 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 sieve. There's a dude, the civilian. Oh right right right. Yeah I uh. I'm trying to find a good position to actually do something about him. I don't wanna... I'd say maybe just go for a shot and the dude's only got like one health. Wait, what now? Oh, oh, right, right. The guy with no health. 54. Now yeah, let's go for it. Damn it. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is not good. Oh, we can pull people in, right, right. Um... So let's take a torque up next to the civilian first. Yeah, definitely. Do you want to die? Then stay here. Uh. <laughs> I want to die. All right. How far does the tongue pull go? Uh, hmm. Let's see. She's able to get the hitman. Oh, that guy, apparently. Yeah, get him over here. Yeah. I've got you. Joink. <laughs> oh, she's not putting the squeeze on him though. Oh. That probably might be an upgrade. Oh, you can just do that now. <laughs> She said it exactly how I did, too. <laughs> that was weird. And hey, that that took out the psionic suplex. <laughs> I love how it's just called the psionic suplex. Okay, so that dude's in Overwatch. We could potentially just shoot him. Or battle madness him. That's true. <laughs> yeah, I don't know a lot of people are thinking that right now. <laughs> <laughs> Exterminating. 
I mean, he, he's bizarre. It doesn't mean he's, like, good. <laughs> uh, hmm. The thing is, we still gotta, like, hit this thing, too. Yeah, let's take up... Let's do some damage to that. Yeah. Oh, never mind. <laughs> let's not do that, then. I was like, because somebody's in range. Apparently, yeah. Uh... Oh, we're getting reinforcements. Hmm. Uh. Hmm. Well, there's nobody else around that he can hit, so I guess we could just, like, kill this guy. Yeah. Ooh, weapon disabled. It's just like a gun. <laughs> this lady is awesome. Great, I'm out. Well, you know what you can oh, do. You gotta though. reload. You probably just subdue the hitman. Yeah. Subdue Bret Hart over there. <laughs> He's not the best technical wrestler anymore. No, he's the best there was. <laughs> yeah, we just <laughs> keep this guy stuck. That really can you shoot him or? I don't think he can. Would that count as friendly fire? Yeah, that would. I I think that would count as friendly fire. Let's just uh keep in the. Oh wait. I think because she's in there, yeah. <laughs> so I think we have to like range of it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there were apparently uh, reinforcements, so let's just go in Overwatch, I guess. One angle I'm filled with confidence. <laughs> All right, that was that was a good idea. I'm filled with confidence. Okay. Um. I guess we could take him out? Or we could take him out. <laughs> yeah. And then they just have, uh. Terminal just subdue the. Subdue the guy with one health. Yeah. He's not dead, but he is disoriented. That's why I go for a parry. Yeah. We just glitched out for a second. Weapons dry. I know. Is this to do him? Yeah. <laughs> that was so sudden. I was actually gonna say move Torque out of the out of the way of the pillar first, and then just shoot the pillar. Yeah. It's just in that like. In that square. Yeah, because uh, I think that would hurt the acolyte as well. Because yeah, now it's on fire. And we just shoot the pillar again with uh, Verge. Yeah. Oof. Uh. I guess hmm. have Zephyr subdue that guy. Now, uh, which one? This guy? Yeah. That never gets old, I swear. Uh, oh no. Great, I'm out. You've been out for the next uh <laughs> we're just gonna <laughs> we just have her run around subduing everybody and she's just like, where is my ammo? <laughs> And that did it, so hey. So then we just shoot the pylon. She can't, like, do anything for some reason. Wait, why, why can't she pull the teammates? 
Oh, wait. Okay, that makes a lot of sense, actually. That's cool tactical. Yeah. Can she not shoot? I guess not. Or... Oh, she can shoot at that. Okay. All right. We've earned 20 more intel. Yeah, I should probably do it for tonight, going by the time frame. This game's really cool, though. It's it's pretty good deal for the price, too. Like, there's a lot to this. This definitely feels like it's like a test for, like, the next mainline game, though. Let's... Let's listen and promote and then save, I suppose. Councillor Borthu expressed his displeasure after the session. He opposed the bulk of Mayor Nightingale's policies. A new title won't change that. The deputy mayor responded. Screw you, man. <laughs> My goal is to keep the lights on until we elect a new mayor. No more, no less. More as the story develops. Hmm. I don't like that guy. He's got a top knot and he's shady. Let's take care of this first. Hmm. Probably do that. Uh, promote, uh, this dork. Actually, what's her deal? We could... Only child of a factory, co worker, and a cook. And, uh, you know, from China. Where are the rest of these, uh, people from, anyway? Because I know, uh, Zephyr's from Australia, but, uh... Siberia? Okay. France? I, I kind of heard a bit of the accent in there, actually, so that makes sense. Yeah, definitely. That's like the they're not dead perk. <laughs> oh, wow. Look what that's called. <laughs> Pressure point. Uh, we're going to have to get some uh, Sebastian Delacourt uh, <laughs> representation here. Uh, but then again, there's uh... the melee equivalent of fucking Overwatch. Yeah, we're going to have to. Sorry, Sebastian. This just. Her kicking people all the time is, a. Uh... Yeah, yeah, she's from Australia. <laughs> Biography. Uh, it's an android. We never checked, uh... Never checked what? Oh, he's just from... He's just alien. Yeah. Estonia? Alright. Huh. <laughs> Zero years old. But 18 physically. He's a little young to be in this uh, recruitment uh, team then, isn't he? Extra padding, alright. Sounds good. Alright. I think that about does it for tonight. Uh, save here. I'll probably uh, revisit this uh, on it. I'm sorry, what? What? We can't save? Uh... Okay, um... Well, um... I hope that's not a... Did we know we didn't activate Iron Man mode now or anything. Oh, uh, we did. We just, uh... Oh, okay, there we go. Yeah, I remember I put Iron Man on. Okay, okay, so the game's still there. It's... <laughs> that's Wait, good. you put Iron Man on? Yeah, I did. Because I was like, oh. we're going to make it easy, but we're going to add a little bit of challenge to it. Okay, that that was like... I thought the game just straight up was just like... <laughs> you cannot save if you're on easy mode. <laughs> okay, so it is saved. Because uh, I'm definitely looking forward to... Uh, Trying this out uh, here and there on my own time.
But, uh... <laughs> yeah. I mean, it auto-saves, so... Got that going. No save, only play. <laughs> Alright. Uh, but yeah, this game's cool, and, uh... You should check it out if it looks like your thing. It's only 20 bucks, too. Yeah. As opposed to the DLC for XCOM 2, which I also have and probably will be messing with later tonight, honestly. So, uh, with that, uh, tomorrow we're going to go back to Wrestling Revolution. Uh, which, uh, we were going to do one of those, uh, I actually forgot the name of the fucking thing, like, Total Extreme Wrestling, is that what it's called? Yeah. Okay, Total Extreme Wrestling, uh, the booking simulator thing. Uh, the thing is, our little uh, universe is not quite done yet, so that'll be in a couple of weeks. Uh, but we'll see what Robert Banks is up to tomorrow, I suppose. But uh, until then, thanks everybody for stopping by. Uh, thanks, Sasha, for being here with me. No problem. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. See ya.